You will now learn how to edit articles, delete articles, so we need to make more routes, action and views, and also we will learn to look at a few little errors. Go to your terminal and let's look at what action we need for to edit an article. Type break routes to list all the routes options. We're looking for the route action with the word edit in it. There we go, we have edit underscore article and that corresponds to edit action in the articles controller. Go to the articles controller in the text editor and define the action edit. So type DEF edit then end. We again need the instance variable at article. So type at article. Oopsie, misspelled. Equal and here we must find a specific article we want to edit. So type article, capital A, dot, find, parenthesis, params, square bracket, oopsie, square bracket, colon, ID. Go to the articles folder and create a new file. So under views articles, new file and name it edit.html.erb In the edit file we need to create a form. Since the edit form is almost identical to when we created a new article, go to the new.html.erb file and copy all the code and then paste it in the edit file. There. Let's change the title to edit article. Here we need to delete the article underscore path and type out the article instance variable again instead. This will render the current title and text of the article we want to edit, but we not yet update it. For this we need another action that corresponds to a patch or a put HTTP method. Go to the list of routes in the terminal and see if you can find a verb that matches this description and its corresponding action. There we go, we need an update action. Go to the Articles controller in your text editor and here under Edit, that's a good place, type DEF as before, DEF, Update, and close with End. Since the update action needs to find the corresponding article ID, just as with the edit action, we can copy the code from the edit action to make it easy for us. So copy it here and then paste it within the update action. But here we need a conditional statement depending on if the update was successful or not. So we would type if add article dot update parenthesis and type article oops misspelled art article underscore params to call on the two parameters text and title. Then we need to direct so type redirect underscore two and we need to redirect to the article that we were just updating. So type at article. And if it wasn't successful, type else.
type render oops r e n d e r within quotation mark type edit this will just call the edit action again and just display the edit view one more time we also need to end the if statement so type e n d then go to the index file in the articles folder we will now create a link to the edit view this is almost identical to the show link we created before so let's create a TD tag underneath the show link type TD and let's close the TD tag and then in between type the Ruby syntax and then link underscore two and give it the click text of edit single quotation type edit and then comma we need to determine what path this link will be going to go and look at the prefix fold column in the list of routes again and here you see edit underscore article this is the path we want so go back to the index again and type edit underscore article underscore article underscore path and parenthesis and we need to pass the article variable and close the Ruby syntax go to the browser and to the page that lists all the articles Okay, we do not see the edit link, so clearly I made a mistake. Okay, I did not put in the equal sign here. Maybe you saw that I had forgotten that. Let's go back to the browser and refresh. Fresh. All right, so now we see it. Click on an edit. Let's just change some text. I will change the word last to first. Click update. Okay, so I have a mistake in the update action. Looks like a spelling mistake. Let's go to the articles controller to the update action. Sure enough, it needs to be typed ART. Let's go back to the browser, refresh and click on an edit link. Change the text again. Anything you want, I will again do last and type first. All right, here it worked. Okay, last became first. So we can edit our articles now. Okay, we will now add the ability to delete an article. Go to the terminal and look if there is a way to, for us to add a delete action. Okay, so we see that there is a delete verb and that corresponds to an action name destroy. Let's go back to the articles controller in our text editor and let's create a destroy action. Let's do that right underneath the create action. So type DEF and then we will type destroy. DES TROY and type end. The destroy action needs to find the article it will be destroying. So type add article equals capital A article dot find parenthesis type params square brackets colon ID then type add article dot destroy this is the method for destroy so it will now delete the article after it's been deleted we need to redirect the page however this is a little bit tricky we need to think about it remember we have now deleted the article like before if you know create we actually redirected it to the article we created 
the same with the update but that no longer exists so let's just redirect it to another page and the most logical page to redirect it to is articles underscore path which is the index view in the articles folder that lists all the articles go to the index page in the articles folder and we now need to create a link for the delete it's, let's just copy the link for the edit link and paste it below type delete over the edit and we also need to specify the path we're not going to go to the edit path it will be the articles underscore path so just delete this and now we have the correct path and after the parenthesis type comma and now we need to put in the method for the HTTP so it can delete it so type method colon and let's just go back to the terminal to verify and this is the verb we need so space colon type delete we also need to give it a prompt action so before we deleting it we get a little prompt window basically stating that we are sure that we want to delete it so type data colon curly brackets type confirm colon and then the question you want to be asked I will type are you certain and give it a few question marks bing 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 alright so before we go to the browser bin window and check this out let's just align these methods here a little better and I'm going to put in a few more pipe characters between the columns here alright one more and actually one more then let's go back to the browser window and refresh and click on the delete link then click cancel in the window so nothing happened click on the delete link again now click OK on the prompt and we delete in an article repeat it one more time click on another de article delete it and now we deleted a few more articles so now you know that alrighty you are moving along let's commit what we just did so let's go back to the terminal window clear the window type clear and type git status alright to remind ourselves what we did type git space add space dot great and git commit dash m single quotation and so we added being able to edit and delete an article so let me see if I spell and talk at the same time which I cannot do article uh, dot and quotation all right clear and then git status again okay on branch master nothing to commit all right let's move on from here bye bye